best and the biggest win of his career so far. Paul Longata. It was a win for Kenya as the country grabbed top honors in the Paris Marathon on April 9th in both the men and women's category. For the couple that ran away with both titles, it was a crowning moment after years of toil in the backwaters of their restive West Pokot County. A moment that saw them take home more than 12 million shillings to become the newest millionaire couple in town. They have since flown back home, away from the Paris glitz. Here at their home in Kapsabet, Nandi County, it's time for breakfast. Purity's focus is on ensuring the coffee is prepared well. The dishes are clean and piled up. The leftover dinner is kept well at the corner. Nothing is to be wasted. Purity knows that too well. She was not as privileged as a child. Inside the sitting room, Paul, her husband, keeps up with the day's news. How we can actually capacitate. They could pass for an ordinary couple just having breakfast if it were not for the walls lined with medals. They are the latest millionaires in the village. Some have adoringly dubbed the power couple. <laughs> Kama kawaida, yeah, tuna focus as a next season. The test of life has not always been this good. They were brought up in Pokot. Running would be their preferred way out of poverty. Their paths would cross while in primary school that would last seven years and counting. It's the hard life they are running away from. Hapa ni Rendol, ni penye tunafanya masaisi. Hakini penye sasa tunayenda kuyishi ni upande wa kapenguria. Ndiyo tunamalishia, karibu tunamalishia ujengzi. We show them the recording of the marathon as they get excited over the win. It feels like the first time they passed through the tape. They had requested their manager to look for a race they could participate in together. When Paris came knocking, they had to prepare physically and mentally for the race, leaving behind their three-year-old daughter to run a race that would also secure her future. Outside, their shoes dry in the sun. It's Easter, so they can take a break from the hectic training schedule. At their home in Kapsabet, Nandi County, they walk almost unrecognizable. Winning is good, but not such a big deal to the residents of the county dubbed the source of champions. Nothing comes easy, they say. It's at this training camp, the Rosa training camp in a different county, El Marakwet County, where Paul would spend five days of the week training. It's a memorable time for everyone. Their win means so much for those still in training that there's hope, a focus to be better. After a brief chit chat with the team, they head for the evening training. Their next focus is on the World Championship in London in August. Paul says that at 24 and his wife at 23, they are in their best shape. For Purity and Paul, it's a typical case of two being better than one. The reason to win just pushing them further to win much more. Masi Kandia Citizen TV at the Kipchoge Keino Stadium in Eldoret, Wasingishu County.